My name is Mabel Esinake. It happened in year 2020, August 2020 to be precise. I noticed this little rash on my face and I thought it was a normal pimple. But before I could know it, it deteriorated and it was something else. I consulted the hospital, the dermatologist, and several tests was conducted on me and they told me I, I have acne. I was surprised and I was like, how come? The dermatologist tried all her possible best. The medication was provided, but to no avail. So it happened in, during the global crusade at um, Bayasa in March. I joined our location at Abia where the global crusade was transmitted via satellite. And I believed in God. And when our daddy was praying, he said, place your hand where you have the problem and raise up your hand. So I placed my hand on my face and I was rubbing my face while I raised up my right hand. And I was having severe headache as a result of the acne that always wake me up around 2 a.m. in the night. So immediately the final amen, what I noticed was that the headache was no more. I could not feel the pain. And I was happy, so I went home. But at the middle of the night, the headache woke me up again. I wanted to pick the drugs as usual. And my mind said, no, don't do that. Your father and the Lord has prayed for you. Why not claim it? I went to sleep. And so God be the glory. The next morning I woke up. I looked at my face on the mirror. The thing, all of a sudden, I don't know, they just vanished. I was not seeing the acne again. The headache was no more there. I was rejoicing. I went to the office. Immediately I stepped at the office from the staff entrance. It was my manager that saw me first. And he shouted, what? Pastor Pekin, where did you go to? What happened to you? And I said, my pastor, my father in the Lord, prayed for me. And I woke up. The healing was dead. And since, 20, since 2020 to 2022, that I've suffered that problem. And in 2022, in March, and God healed me. Up to this moment, there has not been headache, no acne again, no pimple again. God has made me beautiful again.